Uh, greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is October of 2020. Um, thanks, everybody, for their concern about the hurricane. It was nowhere near me. Uh, it was a, probably 100 miles away from me or more. But uh, I know people that are on the west coast of Florida that got nailed. So, yeah, not good. Um, just for so everybody knows, I'm kind of taking a break from YouTube because, I don't know, I guess in some ways I've been kind of depressed. Um, and really, I haven't felt inspired to do anything. All I know is uh, I've had some really nasty dreams and uh, the Bible has some things to say about that. Uh, young men will see visions and the old men will dream dreams. And I guess, I guess that's me, the, the, uh, the old, the old man's uh, with the dreams, right? So let me see if I can find that verse. Uh, yeah, that's in Joel chapter 2, uh, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. That's me. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. Well, I've had some visions, not visions, dreams. Uh, I did a couple videos. They're old now, but one was about uh, drones. Sort of like uh, They Live, the movie They Live, where they had those drones floating around. And that movie was what? Back in the... Uh, was it the late eighties or early nineties? Yeah, I think it was there. Yeah, I think it was the late eighties. And then lo and behold, they got drones all over the place. But they were uh, hunting Christians. And then I had another dream. I was in a room with a small group of people in a uh, an old abandoned house on the edge of the woods, and they were hunting us. I did a video on that too. And then I had another dream just the other night where uh, I believe it was Chinese soldiers. They were going through people's houses looking for what they called contraband things. You know, the government wanted an inventory of everything we had in the house pretty much. Oh, wait a minute. You got too much food. Oh, we, you can't have that. You can't have food storage. No, 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 no. Uh, firearms? Absolutely not. You know, and I was like, is this just an overactive imagination or is this, am I being shown something? I don't know. And I do not, absolutely do not positively claim to be a prophet. No, 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 no. Although I, some of these things, I wonder about, you know, am I being shown something or is it just an overactive imagination from a pizza or something I ate before I went to bed? I don't know. All I know is the great majority of the church world, um, in the United States at least, uh, believes in the pre-trib rapture. They're going to be deceived. Um, just remember, the man of sin comes first. The Bible plainly teaches the man of sin, the beast, the antichrist, the son of perdition comes before Christ does. But these lazy people will not read their Bible. Their pastors are a bunch of devils. If they're not the satanic seed line, they're probably high-level masons. Now, the Masonic Lodge, the first three levels, you know, it's just a bunch of people doing, 
you know, good things like the um, the Shriners. You know, I actually met a guy that was um, crippled from birth, and the Shriners took him and did a bunch of stuff for him, surgeries, and he was working construction. And he was his parents had told him that the doctor said he would never be able to walk. You know, but the when you get to the upper levels of the Masons, they know that they serve Lucifer. So the good works are just basically a cover. You know, it's sort of like election time with politicians. You know, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know. Uh, yeah, you know. And then when they get elected, they do the exact opposite. Well, are they really elected? I think they're selected, but... You know, just like that Italian prime minister, she claims that she's on the people's side. But then when you uh, read the stuff she said in the past, she's a globalist for sure. And I'm being quite politically correct because YouTube keeps uh, going after my videos. So I'm afraid to even say certain words if you catch my drift. Because I want to keep the channel up as long as possible. And people, let me tell you what. Please send me a 128 gig USB drive, probably a version 3.0, at least something fast, you know. Somebody sent me a, uh, a slow drive because they wanted to save a few bucks. I had to put that thing on in the uh, before I went to sleep. Woke up, you know, six, seven, eight hours later, nine hours later, whatever it was. And the thing was still loading. I mean, yeah, I have that much stuff. But, you know, these fast drives will load everything pretty quick. And the, and the old slow stuff that they're, you know, selling for nothing takes forever. Which, you know... Please spend the extra couple dollars. Get me something fast, you know, so I can download everything. I've got, in addition to my over 1,000 Bible studies, I've got videos on various topics that I've snagged from various people and groups. And I have a bunch of pictures, memes that are really good. Tell, you know, pictures worth a thousand words, they say, right? I got all kinds of stuff on communism, who was behind it, take a guess, uh, Wall Street, you know. I got all kinds of health-related issue, uh, survival-type books, um, books on, or uh, articles from medical authorities on various topics that I dare not say on YouTube because they don't like certain words. Um, yeah, you know, petroleum jelly, like Vaseline, it, it sounds similar to that. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. It's just, it's getting to the point where you can't say anything anymore. And, uh, so, you know, if you're interested, send me a 128 gig drive. I got one. It was like, I don't know, it's like $12, $15 now. I remember when I was in college, I bought a really small one. It was like $35, $50, and it was like a 32 or 64 meg drive. Now they're you're getting, you know, <laughs> it was tiny. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't 32 or 64 meg. It was kilobytes. Yeah, it was like basically for uh, text. I uh, was copying text for uh, reports and what have you. So, you know, it, people, it's, uh, they're getting ready. They're getting ready to do their little thing. Uh, it's There's going to be massive uh, die-offs. And uh, I'm convinced that there, once the there's die-offs, and when that happens, maybe they'll do a financial collapse. 
And uh, if you don't know what uh, fractional banking is, look into it. Look into fractional banking. Because if you were to go to a bank and say, I want to withdraw $50,000, they don't have it. They don't have it. They can't do it because they don't have that kind of cash on hand. And they loan out money they don't really have. I mean, that's how fractional banking works. They collect a dollar and then they loan out like 85 cents of that dollar. And then somebody else takes that and then they loan, you know, 85% of the 85 cents and then it goes down the line. They don't have the money. So if you pulled out all the money from a bank, you know, you, you, they won't let you do it because they don't have it. You know, oh, I want to close out my account. I got $50,000 in it. Well, we got to give you a cashier's check. Oh, wait a minute. You're going to tell me you don't have any cash? And that's what happened during the, um, the bank runs during the Depression in the 30s. But the thing is, when the rich people start pulling out all their money in cash, the banks are going to run out. And then you're going to lose whatever you have in the bank. Uh, they changed the rules. The money's not guaranteed by anymore. It's basically, uh, if you have $100,000 in the bank, you're going to be the proud owner of a failed bank, uh, $100,000 worth of stock in a failed bank. That's you're going to be your ownership stake. So, yeah. So if there's a crash, economic, massive die-offs, my th I truly believe that the uh, you know who's are going to claim that all this is punishment from God for uh, are not honoring Him properly, and that we need to build the temple and start doing animal sacrifices. And if you don't know how that's a denial of what Jesus did. You're, uh, you need definitely need to uh, send me a drive and get all my work and listen to it because I lay it out from the Bible. Matter of fact, uh, you'd be far better off listening to this stuff than any of the garbage on TBN. At least I don't lie to you for money. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't make any money on doing this stuff, you know. I mean, a few people have sent me donations. I accept them, sure. It helps because, you know, uh, I buy my own microphones. I buy my own computers, you know. But, uh, you know, I don't beg for money. That's why I got a job, right? Get a job, Bob. Well, I did. But the thing is, I think that when all these bad things happen that they planned and created, that they will um, say, oh, it's because we're not, we're not honoring God and we need to do animal sacrifices and do the temple. Well, the Bible teaches that the man of sin, son of perdition, the beast, the antichrist, whatever name you want to use, those are all Bible names for the man of sin. Um... He's their Messiah, their Messiah, not Jesus. I don't, I'm, according to the complete Jewish Bible, uh, Yeshua is Lucifer. I did a video on that with screenshots of their own, their own papers. I mean, their own book proves, proves it. Yeshua is Lucifer. Yeah. In Isaiah 14, they call Lucifer the morning star. And then in Revelation 22, they say Yeshua is the morning star. Do the math. Yeshua is the morning star. Revelation 22, and then in Isaiah 14, he fell from heaven. And is going to the pit of hell, or Sheol as they call it, to be covered with worms. Really? You know, this is the kind of garbage. And, and the NIV did, does the same thing. Yeah, the NIV was a number one selling Bible. 
for a bunch of years there. You know, when Harry Potter is outselling the Bible, uh, you got a problem. And I was watching some uh, cartoons at work. Uh, you know, they're adult cartoons. You know, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers were, uh, let's just say they were very co sure. And, um, you know, it was like uh, Batman related type stuff. I was shocked. Oh, there was another one too. Uh, oh, I forget the name of it. But they were actually teaching witchcraft. I mean, it was witchcraft. It was out and out witchcraft. I was amazed. One of the guys was watching it. And I'm just there, you know, looking at the TV, whatever. But this is what they're teaching our youth. Magic and all this stuff. And, you know, people, uh, they have no knowledge of the Bible. But if you got all my stuff and listen to it all, you'll know more than somebody with a doctorate degree from a Bible cemetery, I call them. You know, Bible college. Because they're they're... They're lying to them. You know, they teach the Antichrist or God's chosen people. They teach the pre-trib rapture, which is a lie. You know, the church is going to be here till the, the very end, the tribulation. And, uh, you know, they teach, oh, no, that's not going to happen. You know, I don't, I don't lie to you people. I know one day I'm going to have to kneel before the Lord and give an account for every word that I've ever taught. And I would like to think the list of things I was wrong is going to be kind of short. I'd like to think that because I've never willingly deceived anybody uh, with Bible teachings on YouTube. Now, I do have a channel on Odyssey uh, if YouTube deletes me. But, you know, get my Bible study stuff. Share it. I don't care. I don't... I don't um, uh, copyright anything you know I just want uh, people to know and the majority of the church world is so deceived you know they won't read the Bible and if they do read the Bible they read the wrong one you want to read the NIV where where Jesus the morning star well the morning star goes to hell when Jesus says he's the morning star really that's what you want to read uh, it's it's sickening and you know it's just the way it is so what can I tell you but I think the you know who's are going to rebuild and and dedicate the temple that's what this red heifer thing is all about and the false prophet who's going to be able to do miracles Bible says lying signs and wonders. He's going to even be able to call fire down from heaven. He's going to claim to be Elijah. You mark my words. He's going to claim to be Elijah. And nobody on the earth is going to be able to oppose him. Because he'll be able to bring fire down from the sky and burn him up. Look at uh, Jew, uh, Job chapter 1. Satan was able to bring fire down from the sky. He was able to bring a whirlwind. He made Job's life miserable by killing his family, except for his wife. Satan didn't want to kill his wife because his wife said, well, why don't you just curse God and die? Boy, how would you like to have a wife like that? Or her husband? Uh, no, thank you. But uh, the Lord restored Job. Yeah, I think that was the first resurrection in the Bible. But, hey, that's just my opinion. And, uh, but yeah, when they dedicate the temple, look out. Especially when the uh, false prophet comes, which I think they're going to, I'm positive, it's gonna, he's going to claim to be Elijah. And then the two witnesses in the Bible, one of them is going to be Elijah. You should watch my hour and 40 minute long video on Elijah, the life and times of Elijah. 
I go into a lot of the stuff in detail. That's why I'm not going into detail with it now, you know, because I've already done it, you know. But uh, you watch. There's going to be a bunch of bad things happening. And the you-know-whos are going to say, well, you know, we got to build a temple in honor of the Lord and do what he said. And you watch, TBN and all the rest of those crew will be, oh, praise God, the, the God of the Prince of the Power of the Air, the God of this world, because Jesus already paid the price. We're the temple of God, not a temple made with hands. And besides, animal sacrifices are the abomination of desolation yeah so you know people I'm serious beware the man of sin comes before Christ does Christ doesn't come until the end of the tribulation every eye is going to see him he's going to come with the clouds and church people are going to be your enemy they are because they're Masonic Satanic seed line pastors will all tell you that when the false prophet comes and the, and the, the man of sin, they're going to say, even, even the Messiah has come. Yeah, their Messiah, who's not Jesus. And Yeshua is not Jesus. And I'm glad a lot of them believe, uh, agree with me. Yeah, they'll say, yeah, you show us not Jesus. You Je Jesus is that pig god from Zeus. Well, if that's how they feel, they can, uh, you watch them, you watch the uh, false messiah. I bet you, I bet you they call him Yeshua. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yeshua has come. Oy vey. Yeah. You can have your Yeshua. No, thank you. My Bible, New Testament, was written in Greek. Paul's writings were to Greek churches, Thessalonians, Galatia, Galatians, Colossians. Yeah. was written in Greek to Greeks. So, his name is Jesus, and he is the Christ. And what he did on the cross, he said, it is finished. And the temple, uh, about 30 some odd years later, was destroyed. The Romans, God sent the Romans to destroy that temple in 70 AD. General Titus wiped it off the face of the earth. And just like Jesus said in Matthew 24, there would not be one stone left upon another. So the Wailing Wall is a another lie. Yeah. And yet all the world leaders will go to the Wailing Wall. <laughs> well, they can wail at that wall. But they're going to wail even more when Christ returns. They will say to the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of the Lamb and his wrath. Well, that's the Bob translation, but yeah, you get the idea. It's pretty, it's a, it's Bob's paraphrase, but it's, it's along those lines. So, you know, people, there's going to be famine, two types of famine, famine of food. And Amos talks about famine of hearing the words of the Lord. You know, there's, there's not many of us out here. That, you know, there's not many of us out here. There's not. You know, I've tried to be faithful. I really have. You know, I don't have a sound engineer. I'm the sound engineer. I'm the researcher. I'm the producer. I, I You know, I'm the narrator. I'm the researcher. I'm everything. It's just me. I don't have a church or a group. I wish I did have a church to be part of, but I don't. I thought it was going to work out in Arkansas, but uh, that was sent of the devil, not the Lord. 
What can you say? So, people, I, I hope you'll stay close to the Lord. Keep reading the Bible. Uh, and you know what? Get the um, King James audio, the Alexander Scorby um, version. I mean, you can get the New Testament for like $25 on Amazon, delivered with tax. It's wonderful. Matter of fact, you send me a USB. I've got uh, Scorby, uh, the New Testament, and some of the Old Testament, like the Minor Prophets and some other things, too. It's part of the package. But yeah, I got all kinds of Bible materials. I mean, you're talking probably 10 years of studies and research. So... Now, what can I tell you? You know, write me. And I'll, you know, leave me a thing and I'll I'll give you my address where to send it. If you're overseas, please send me a, an SD card. Because a USB, I have to go through customs. And it's a pain in the rear. I got to go to the post office, fill out a customs form. You know, SD card, I could just put it inside a, uh, a greeting card and mail it. You know, that's easy. And if you don't get it, I'll send another one. No big deal. But, uh, you know, the UK, I can get you mail in about a week. Australia takes about three weeks, um, according to lately the uh, what the mail's been running. Uh, the U EU, I don't know. I haven't mailed anything to the EU lately, but uh, I imagine it's... You know, about two weeks. I know somebody that's in the military and I send him something. It takes about two weeks for a package to get there. Um, so, what can I tell you? So, yeah, I got a lot of material, people. A lot of material. So, get it, share it, warn the family. My family thinks I'm nuts. So, I don't know. What can I tell you? Actually, I consider you people my family. Because when it comes to kingdom time, I hope I get to meet a lot of you in the kingdom. If I be found worthy, you know, are any of us worthy? No, no. Only Christ is worthy. Christ is the only person uh, the only one who came in the flesh that was worthy. So, beware the Noahide laws. N-O-A-H-I-D-E. Beware, people. They will be used to be, behead Christians. Just like the Bible says. Just like the Bible says. And don't take the mark. I'm not sure what the mark is. Some people say it's the uh, medical treatment. Others say it's the uh, luciferase, L-U-C-I-F-E-R-A-S-E, -E, the lucifer race. I don't know. Or is it A-S-E or A-C-E? -E? I don't know. Um, honestly, I believe in 1990, the Lord showed me, 90 or 91, that it was a, a microchip. But... I believe that's what he showed me. And I did a video on that. But reason being, your driver's license, your passport, and your credit cards, ATM cards, uh, bank cards, all have chips in them. All of them. They got computers everywhere, all over the world. And if you ever could take all the government identification systems like your driver's license and passports and merge it with the financial, like your uh, credit cards, ATM cards, bank cards, whatever, debit cards, um, and then if they want to implant it in your right hand or in your forehead, the answer is, no, thank you. But you'll get your head cut off. Maybe. 
The wilderness is the future of the church, people. The wilderness. Trust me. Not the cities. Not the, you know. And uh, what else? And oh, by the way, in Matthew 24, which I did a video on it, Matthew 24 revealed, when the man of sin shows up into the temple and proclaims that he is God, it's time to run to the wilderness. Don't go back home. Jesus said, don't go back home to get your coat. No, run. And believe me, it'll be a worldwide event with television. Everybody will know. That's when it's time to flee to the wilderness. And if you're smart, you'll have some things in the wilderness prepared. You know, sleeping bags, uh, clothes, winter, winter and summer clothes, maybe some food stashed away or some seeds or whatever. But the Lord will look out after his church. Look at Revelation 12. The Lord has a place prepared for those in the wilderness. But I think there's going to be riding in the streets uh, prior to all this happening, before the man of sin appears. Let's face it, people. If the banks closed and with the food shortages going on that's coming, there's going to be riots in the streets. You know, you live in a city, it's going to burn. Now, I was real, real young in the uh, late 60s. And there were riots all over the United States. All this uh, MLK, if you know who I'm talking about, King. Everywhere he went, he talked about peace, but there were riots everywhere he went. I remember cities all over having riots. Can you imagine that nationwide, all the cities, people rioting because... There's no food in the stores. You know, they got a solution for that. The you-know-whos. The devil's seed. And, uh, yeah, I'm telling you, people, it's coming. It's coming. God is angry with his people. Angry. Angry. Judgment is coming. People will not repent for the most part. God had to almost kill me to get my attention. And he almost did. Almost did. But uh, finally, he broke me. And, you know, when you're down almost ready to die, and you look up, and you're like, that, he, the Lord was the only thing I had to, to, to appeal to. Long story. People have asked me to do a uh, testimony, but my story's not important. The story of Christ, that's what's important. That's why I've never really done a testimony. And you know these churches and these... Uh, Bible schools, like, you know, high schools, so-called so -called Christian high schools, they want you to do a testimony because they use that to weed out the real people from the, the lukewarm kind of people. They, that's what they use that for. Because if you're the real deal, they don't want you around because you might convert some other people and they don't want that, you know? I got a master's degree in the Bible. You think any of the these places would hire me for a Christian high school? I wanted to be a high, Christian high school teacher. No, they won't hire somebody like me. I'm the real, I like to think I'm the real deal. Yeah, I, I like to think that. No, they, they want you listening to Benny Hinn and Ken, Co Kenneth Copeland and, and Sid Roth. It's supernatural. And whatever rabbi is, you know, on the 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 circuit, you know, the the teaching circuit. Yeah, let's go listen to a rabbi tell us about Jesus, right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pass. So, all right, people. Uh, you know what can I tell you? 
But I think they, they want order out of chaos, but they want to be in control of everything. And if you want to know what it's going to be like in the end times, take a look at what Russia ha what happened to Russia when the communists took over. Seriously, if you don't know what communist Russia was like in the 20s and the 30s, you need to, you need to learn. Uh, there's a guy named Alexander, ah, I forget his name. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Uh, yeah, his name is Alexander. It starts with an S. It's got a Russian name. He did two, he did several books. One book was called 200 Years Together. Uh, another was the Gulag Acapelico. I mean, if you look it up on Amazon or Google, you'll find his name. Um, yeah, he lived he, he lived through all that stuff. So, but uh, it's nasty, people. It's nasty. So, yeah. And what gets me is people do not believe in a satanic seed line. Now, it gets me every time. Uh... Clifton Fowler, Clifton Fowler, he was the founder of uh, Colorado Christian College, Denver, Colorado, and he wrote a book called The Angels That Sinned, Genesis 6, you know, and they want you to believe, the church is so-called, want you to believe that uh, believing men married unbelieving women and they had giants for children, and then God destroyed the earth in the flood. Because these believing men married these unbelieving women that had giants for children. No, they were angels. But, uh, you know, they don't want you to know that. There's a reason why God said, go into the land, Israel, and kill all the Canaanites. Instead, they looked at the women and said, man, look at that hot looking thing. Whoo, dog. And then they got, they, they took them for wives. And married them and had children idiots of course I might have done the same thing I don't know uh, girls you know how guys are when it comes to looks uh, you know there's a true saying uh, don't judge a book by its cover well yeah look at uh, let's in the book of judges Samson his parents even asked him is there no, uh, is there no woman in Israel that you know you like? I mean, Samson probably could have had his pick of all the uh, many of the single girls in in Israel. I don't know. Instead, he went to the Philistines, a Canaanite tribe. But God taught him a lesson. He got a haircut and his eyes put out. Yeah. You know, who we marry is very important. Read Ezra chapter 9. You don't you think it don't matter who we marry. Read Ezra chapter 9. God said to separate yourself from the heathen. And now we we bring in the heathen and give them welfare checks and social security and places to live. Uh Section 8 housing, free housing, and food stamps. And our own disabled get nothing. I know that personally because when I had a, a bad accident and I couldn't work, I was all busted up, broken bones. Nothing for you, boy, white boy. Nothing for you. Yeah. And yet people would drive up of a darker complexion in their Cadillacs and walk out with food stamps. Yeah. Yeah. I got the message. Yeah. Of course, I didn't understand then. But it wasn't too long later that the Lord showed me what was up. So, 
you know it's just people don't believe what's going on but by the time they do figure it out it's going to be too late to do anything you know once the banks close any preparations you made that's it and uh you know if they go around your house and and do an, an inventory of for contraband or an inspection i should say um probably nothing you have you'll be able to keep you know there's a reason why the um the assyrians when they conquered a, a people they moved them they took them from one place and moved them to another it's kind of like um in football you got home field advantage well you don't have that when you when they move you you don't know the land you don't know the train you don't know what's in the area and if they split you all up you know you you all speak a certain language and i move part of you over here and part of you over there and part of you over this way and that away you can't get together and and make plans to fight back because you're split up sort of like going to miami and uh nobody speaks english you know yeah or la last time i was in la what year was it late 90s there were more spanish stations than there were english stations radio that is i was like wow so yeah the city of angels fallen angels if you ask me but uh yeah california is a beautiful state uh forestry you know forestry wise and uh a wonderful climate but then people ruin it right so all righty people um you know keep an eye on the lord and uh, there's a lot of people are going to die for their faith they just don't know it yet jesus said if you deny me before men i would deny you before the father and his angels yeah yeah the father and his angels scariest words you'd ever hear in your whole life from the mouth of jesus i never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity i pray none of you ever hear those words i pray i never hear those words scary people scary so all right well so much for my update uh like i say my email address is palm like a tree the palm tree palm beach you know like the ocean the shore of the ocean palm beach weddings as in you know getting married palm beach weddings with an s plural at gmail.com ask me for my address or i'll send you if you are interested in some articles i'll send you some articles if you want um send me a 128 gig drive please a fast one and i'll mail you everything i got and then if you listen to that for eight hours a day it would probably take you six months to listen to it all because i've been doing this for 10 years and i got all kinds of information all kinds because one day the internet's going to be off and let me tell you something 15 years ago i had a website up for uh for goths think alice cooper marilyn manson you know that kind of crowd because my daughter had gotten into some of that stuff and i had a website for goths and google delisted delisted it i had uh i think a quarter million views on it when they delisted it you couldn't even find it on google unless you typed in the exact name you could not find this website and it used to be on the first page 
If you typed in golf, it was up there, way up there. I spent a lot of time uh, adding links to that site. And then somebody probably notified Google, hey, this guy's a Christian, you know. And I told him about the blood of Jesus, John, John chapter 6, you know, where Jesus said, eat of my blood and drink, drink of my blood, eat of my flesh and drink of my blood. Yeah. You know, because a lot of those people were into what they, you know, like vampirism. Totally deleted it from the listings. Gone. I was getting two, three hundred emails a day from people asking me questions. I couldn't answer them all. So I knew censorship was coming way, even way back then. I didn't even know who owned Google back then. I do now. Yeah. So every time you find something evil and you dig down, it's always the same group without fail. Always. So, oh, what can I tell you? All right, people. I guess that's enough for an update. And, uh, you know, tsh. All glory and blessings and praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen.